G'day folks, Jasko here again. So what we're going to do today is a bit different from my other videos. I have a stripped thread, or partially stripped thread in this. Now this is a motor mount, or this is a part of the motor mount on um, the driver's side. Um, basically, see what I've done, I've tried to secure it a little bit. I know that it probably should be secured more, but this is the problem. I'm, these three are okay, see, but this is the problem. What we're going to do is we're going to fix the thread using this. Okay. So, see what happens is the bolt starts to go in. However, just just keep an eye on that thread there. It should stop around here. Okay, that should be it. I shouldn't be able to turn it more. But unfortunately, see it keeps on turning and the thread disappears into the hole. And if I grab this, if I grab this mini mini wrench, see. See, it continues to turn because the thread is stripped. You see what I mean? Okay. Okay, folks, so one of the good ones actually goes, the bolt should go down and there should be a tiny bit of thread hanging out. Okay, here's a comparison. See this one, for example, the bolt will go in. Okay, at this point, I can't actually use my hands anymore, I need to use this little mini wrench to the rest of it up. Okay folks, <coughs> okay folks, that's it, you can't go anymore, and as I was saying with the other one, see how there's a bit of, so you can see a bit of thread hanging out there. The reason we can do it in this one is because the thread's all okay and it catches the bolt. But the reason it won't happen here is because part of the thread has been stripped. I reckon somewhere around, probably here down there. So we know these are okay, um, but we're going to fix this one. Okay. Okay, folks. So what we're going to do now is you can see we put the correct drill, we put the correct bit, so it goes straight in, snug fit. What we're going to do is we're going to go and remove the remaining thread from that hole, okay? If you could just see there. Alright, like this. Okay folks, so what I've done over here is you can see I have stripped the thread completely from this hole. See? Um, I'm going to show you in the, there is no thread, it's all gone. Okay, 100%. Because this thing has passed through, it's like a tunnel boring machine if you like. Um, and if you put that bolt in, See, it goes all the way down. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually rebuild the threads. Okay? We're going to manually rebuild it. And the way we do that is we choose the appropriate size that we want. And for us, it's going to be this one here. Okay? This thing. 
what we're going to do is we're going to go and tap new threads in there. We're going to use we're going to use this. We're going to turn it inside to build the threads. And the way you secure this is actually with the socket. Um, see, fits on the end of the socket for me. I'm just going to put that in the in the back of this. Okay. Okay folks, so the final stage now is just using this tool over here, as you can see, to screw to screw in this uh, insert, see this manual insert. If I take it out, I just want to show you um, what it looks like. Okay folks, there it is. There's our insert. There it is there, see? Nice and beautiful, see? Okay. And of course our bolt will go in without any problems. Okay, excellent. At this point, actually at this point over here, I can feel a lot of, I can feel great tension. So it means that this uh, this stuff has worked. Okay, it's repaired the threads. It's actually replaced some of the threading. And now I'm ready to put this in use again. Okay, I'll just take this out. Get some photos for you down there. If you can see the thread's been rebuilt. Okay. So this is the kit that it came from, okay?